Jocko Willink. How do you deal with fatigue, both mental and physical? How do I deal with fatigue, mental and physical? I rest. And, uh, you know, when, when, if I'm feeling like just completely overtrained and weak, uh, I usually tell, well, I tell my fighters, I'd say, Hey, you just got your butt kicked today. Go eat a big steak tonight. Take tomorrow off. You know, you just need rest. And, and it's pretty obvious when that happens. And so I do the same thing for myself. If I, if I'm feeling horrible and you, you know, you can see occasionally my workouts just consist of like you know, doing some mobility training, rolling it out, you know, doing a big stretch. That's because I'm just tired and I know it. And so I just give myself some downtime. Um, I think it's very important to know the difference <laughs> between being lazy mm -hmm. and being overtrained. And it's very easy to make that excuse for yourself. And that's why I always err on the side of I'm working out, I'm training because and usually then the next day, I'll, so if I feel like exhausted today, mm -hmm. I won't take today off, but I will take the next day. But I'll work out today just to make sure right. that I'm not just being lazy. Yeah. So I'll do another workout, get another training session in or whatever the case may be. So I make sure that's not just that moment. Because sometimes the next day you're like, you know, I'm not that bad. Right. I'm going to get I'm back in the game. Yeah. <laughs> back on the program. The, uh, the other thing people ask me all the time, I've probably written this a dozen times or more on Twitter is, do I take naps? Mm -hmm. And the answer is yes. In fact, I slept on the, I flew today and I slept probably two hours on the plane. Um, and that's a little bit more than a nap and I'm not on a plane every day. So what do I do for naps? Yes, I do take naps. What I do for naps, and this is something that I learned uh, from a high school teacher that I had, was I walked into his office one day and he had his feet up on the desk above his heart. And I said, what, you know, what are you doing? And he said, oh, this is really good for you. You put your feet above your heart and it allows the blood to circulate out of your feet and gives, you know, lets your, your veins and your one-way valves in your veins rest a little bit and gets little pools of blood out of random places and it's, and it's good. And so I tried it and it felt really good. Mm. And so when I was going through SEAL training, I used to, when I'd come in, we'd, we'd have like a couple minutes yeah. in between evolutions and I'd just go in and put my feet up, set my alarm clock, sleep for a few minutes you know, nowadays, if I can, I'll try and sleep for like six to eight minutes, set my timer on my iPhone. Dang. And you look like distressed when I said six to eight minutes. Yeah. It, it, you it, don't it, consider anything under the three hours to be a... <laughs> yeah, that's not a legitimate nap. Not a legitimate nap. But, if I sleep for like an hour, then I'm up for too long at night. I won't be able to go to sleep because oh, I get too much rest. Gotcha. Yeah. Under what circumstances are you going to take a nap, though? Like, how, oh, yeah. how well, do you just feel? Tired. I'm just tired. I'll feel myself, like, not. Oh, yes, like sleepy yeah. tired. And that's the thing is I can do, if, I'm, if my mind is engaged in something, or especially if my body's engaged in something, that's what's cool about working out. You can work out when you're exhausted. Because mm -hmm. once you start moving, the, it's not like you're going to fall asleep while you're doing squats. Right. It's not like you're going to fall asleep while you're doing pull-ups. Yeah. You're just going to do the pull-ups. You're just mm -hmm. going to do the squats. And when you get done, you'll be tired. You go to sleep. Right. What's hard to do, and this is when, like, when we were writing the book, when I was writing my section of the books, I'd be writing at night, 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock at night be trying to hammer through it. And right. sometimes I just fall, you know, I'd be falling asleep. Oh, yeah. oh man. So, but that feeling of, Hey, I'm just falling asleep. Right. That's not good. Right. You know? So when I'm feeling that tired, I'll, I'll power out. But it's like one of those things where I also like to push through it. <laughs> so sometimes I just try and power through it because yeah. honestly, even a, even a short nap for me will kind of make me stay up too late at night. And all of a sudden it'll be one o'clock in the morning. And I can't even sleep. Six to eight minutes, six to eight minutes, six to eight minutes, a power nap, a six to eight minute power nap can make you feel amazing. Oh yeah. It yeah. can make you feel amazing. Don't underestimate the power nap. It yeah. is a legit fool right there. Yeah. For real. I, I actually used to take like 15 minute nap, like 10 yeah, well, 15 minutes. Yeah. I know that's overkill that's for little, you. That's a little much. Going into laziness. No, but, but seriously, fifteen minutes is yeah. You probably felt like yeah, outstanding when you. But got it only helps with the that sleepy type because let's say I'm used to a certain amount of sleep. Let's say I get two and a half hours less sleep than I'm used to. It goes way beyond me feeling just sleepy tired. It's like physically tired. Oh really? Yeah. So yeah, I don't have that issue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, you're different. Well, so if I take a 10 minute power nap when I am lacking two and a half hours of my quote unquote. Oh, normals. it'll make up for it, right? No, 
No. No, 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 no. It helps me when I get my normal sleep, give or take, but I've been doing a lot of stuff during the day, you know? And you're like, dang, I did a lot. My brain was kind of used a lot. And dang, I have this, whatever I got to do now. Yeah. Then you take the 10, 15 minute nap. Then it, it brings you right back. Yeah. And it typically will not mess with my sleep. I wonder how much of this is, is just you just not just powering through stuff. Yeah, probably all of it. Yeah. But <laughs> nonetheless, that's how it is for, yeah. for me, for sure. It'd be interesting to, at some point, for you to experiment with like lack of sleep and sleep deprivation yeah. and see how well you can perform. Like I've been noticing that where if I don't get a lot of sleep, I can still perform really well Yeah, at some physical activities. Mm -hmm. And then after a few days though, I do, I get feel like garbage. Right. And there'll be some physical activities that I'll feel just weak at, but yeah. And, and you're right. Well, there, the, I mean, as long as it's like one time or even two times or so if I film or something and like, let's say I film in the morning, but then I've been up, you know, working late the night before when I go into film, I'm like charged up. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's all kinds of factors in there. A lot of it's like, like adrenaline. adrenaline, not like it's like this huge adrenaline rush, but there's that little bit of adrenaline because of the task, you know? So that helps. And, um, a lot of times, just like how you said, if I made the decision, like, no, I'm not going to miss this workout at all under any circumstances. Then I happen to get two and a half hours less sleep than I, and I go in and I, how you say power through it, you can, you can totally do it. Yeah. So but I'm seeking comfort fully. Yeah, for sure. But, but it still does the, help though. But to answer the question, yes. If you're tired, sleep. Mm -hmm. If you need rest, rest. Right. And don't try and overtrain yourself. You probably are overtraining and, and just need some rest. Yeah.